Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and with me is Johan Chance. I am at the headquarters of Shopa, and Johan is International Haute Horlogerie Sales Director. Already the name tells you that we are going to talk about Haute Horlogerie, meaning really complicated watches, and I think you have a incredible free watches to present us today. Of course, I'm very uh, proud and I'm very happy to welcome you here in, uh, in Merlin. As you know, we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of uh, our manufacture. And I have three very specific watches, uh, very rare watches to, to present to you. And you, of course, and uh, be sure to not miss anything because you will really appreciate this, uh, this viewing. He's excited, I'm excited, and now we are not going to appear anymore on your screens, only the watches. Enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Johan, um, it is 25 years ago that Chopin started with LUC. It's, it's crazy, 1996, time rushes so quickly. Yeah, and that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. And today we have three watches on your screen. Um, are we able to show you free watches to celebrate these 25 uh, years of uh, LUC? And uh, it's a special trilogy. Indeed. So it's, uh, we are very proud to present this year uh, only, I will say, only 25 years after the first model. Uh, this beautiful trilogy with uh, three timepieces. The, the first one is the strike one, which uh, strikes only once per hour. Then we've got the full strike tourbillon in rose gold. And finally, our beautiful uh, full strike full sapphire. Yeah, this is an incredible watch. So please stay yeah. tuned. You have to <laughs> discover the watch. It is really a superstar. It's a full um, a sapphire case and it's an incredible watch. But let us start. Let us start with uh, the strike one, a watch that was redone this year. Exactly. So we, if you remember, we made already some uh, Strike One models in 2005, but that one is a real reinterpretation because we used our monoblock sapphire and gong, and also the mono pusher to uh, start and stop the striking mechanism. Can we you just explain in a few words um, the gong? What is so particular with this uh, gong you have been developing at Chopin? So, uh, as you know, in 2016, we launched our full strike with the monoblock sapphire gong, which means the glass and the gongs are cut in one piece. It's a real monoblock, it's not glued, it's completely in one piece. So it means the, the glass is polished and the gong is completely cut in the, in the monoblock sapphire. So this will also mean, if I correctly follow, that if you want to service the watch? Yes, so if, if you need to, that's why the, we call also, just by the way, we call the, this beautiful trilogy the Sound of Eternity, thanks to this uh, unique technology in the watchmaking industry. Um, because when, if we remove the, the glass and we fix again, the sound will never change. Mm -hmm. Even 40 years later or 100 mm -hmm. years later, we will keep exactly the same sound. That's this magic. is why it's called sound. Exactly. So now here, um, Johan just said it, we have a monopusher, you can see here. And there is a little indication here, um, 12 o'clock, I'm pointing at it here. And uh, by... Um, Pushing on it, you either activate or deactivate the gong that will only um, indicate the full hour. Yeah, exactly. It strikes at every hour. So now you saw it's white. Look close. I will show that again. Here is a little window. Here is the window. And depending on... Uh, now you have a white... It's white. Wait, I have to concentrate. You see white. And now it's deactivated with the rhodium color, uh, the same uh, yeah. like the dial. Now it's activated. And what happens? I will take out the crown and watch what happens every hour. You have a gong. The gong is ready charging. You see here? Thank you. So we will also try to catch the sound, but here 
watch closely, you have the gong every hour. And yes, as I said, if you don't wish, the hourly remember or the reminder every hour you just deactivate it and then it's deactivated. So, some dimensions, uh, sure. case, case dimensions. We so, are, the case is 40 millimeter yeah. and the thickness is 9.8. And also, the distance uh, legs to legs. <laughs> Very good to have this. Yeah. It is 47.22. So the distance from one lug end to the other lug end is 47.22. 47.22, exactly, yes. Precise. Also limited to 25 pieces. Rose gold case with our LUC DNA with the satin finish, uh, vertical satin finishing on the side of the case. Micro rotor. Micro rotor on the movement. Geneva seal. Geneva seal, very good. You can also appreciate the swan neck regulator. Yeah, just showing the rotor that it's really. 22 carats. Yeah, heavy yes. motor, yeah. Swan neck, let me show that. Yeah. For the fine adjustment. Exactly, and our fine uh, finishing, the purling. Geneva stripes. Very nice. And guilloche on the dial. We don't, uh, we shall not forget. It's hand guilloched or engine turned, the dial. Yeah, it's a hand guilloche dial uh, with the beehive pattern, which is also a strong uh, DNA from LUC. Nicely with the light here, I can show you this pattern. Very nice. And you know how tough is it to, to do this kind of uh, yes. guilloche? Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's a, a piece of art. Science, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> science. Okay, the watch comes here. Yeah. Pin buckle, of course. Very nice strap. Yeah, we choose this gray in order to, uh, to match with the, the beautiful dial. And with rose gold is, uh, is perfect. <laughs> So this now is the second piece of the eternal... Sounds of eternity. The yeah. sounds of... Um, I, w I wanted to say eternal collection it yeah. is kind of an eternal collection. You if you buy one of these watches, it, they, it, they will anyhow be a, in, in a way um, yeah, eternal in the sense of they will keep it in your family and pass it over to the next generation, etc. Et it's, it's worth, of course. So, Johan, about this... So, uh, this is a new development, as you see, because um, in 2016 we developed the, the full strike, but this year is very, uh, the first time we propose a beautiful model, which is the full strike tourbillon. It means we kept the striking mechanism, but we add this beautiful tourbillon with a sapphire uh, bridge. It's a sapphire bridge. Yeah, exactly. And the tourbillon, you can see that we fixed the second hand on the tourbillon's cage because the tourbillon is doing one rotation in 60 seconds. There is the hand. And just in case you are now saying, he's scratching these watches. No, I can't scratch them. It's as always <laughs> my famous Bergeron pointer, fully made out of plastic. And Johan, you will confirm this is plastic and cannot scratch a watch. Exactly. So okay. it's so completely you... safety for my watch. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. No, I always have to say it. Okay. And here is the um, small second hand turning. As Johan just said, it's a 60 second tourbillon cage. So it will turn once per minute. And of course, it's indicating the running seconds. So what also is technically specific, uh, we did not fix a stop second. We, we just add a stop cage, which means the stopper will block directly the cage and not the second wheel. So hacking seconds, I will take it out and you see it stopped. You see the second hand stop running, yeah. just the, the balance wheel as it's, there's the, um, it still work, but uh, yes, now it's blocked. Also a beautiful pattern, uh, also on the dial, the gold dial, which is called the flanqué, guilloché flanqué. It's kind of waves. 
Then we have, on this side, we have two power reserve indications. There's one for... One with the bell is one for the striking mechanism, and the other one is uh, for the movement. So if you're wondering now how often you can use the minute repeater and let the watch chime, um, it is 12 times set at 12.59. That's the maximum the watch can chime. It will chime 12 times the hours, three times the quarters, and 14 times the minutes. And yeah, show from the side, quite a thick watch, yes. It's a little bit thicker because uh, due to the, to the sapphire bridge, we had, we had to, um, to just uh, take it up the, the hands. Um, it's 12.58 millimeter uh, thickness, but the size, so the, the diameter, is still 42.5. So we kept the, the size uh, mm -hmm. of the watch. And the distance uh, lux to lux is 49.83 millimeters. So if we see also this beautiful movement, nickel silver movement. So the watchmakers will have protection on their fingers always because touching them with uh, pure hands will yeah. leave uh, some uh, black... Uh, some black prints. Yeah. Black prints, <laughs> yeah. Very delicate to work with, but a very noble material to make a movement. And with the rose gold, uh, yeah. the match is perfect also. Yes. This, pe this piece is limited to 20 pieces. Oh my goodness. Also bearing the Geneva seal. Yeah. And here are the hammers. Of course, you discovered them already. I've not, not been talking. Here are the hammers. The polished, black polished hammers. Black polished, what does yeah, this we mean? We call that black polished because when you play with the light, uh, like now, you see sometimes it looks like black and that's why we call that the black polishing yeah. because it's see mirror here? polishing but black, black polishing and reflections What a fantastic sound, and you clearly saw, and you were able to hear what we saw. You could um, see the hour hammer being strike, uh, striking 12 times to indicate 12 o'clock. Then we had both hammers to indicate 15, 30, and 45. And then you saw the minute hammer counting the 14 remaining minutes until 1 o'clock. And uh, yeah, if you add together 12, three times 15 plus 14, it is 12.59. Exactly, correct. And it's the same principle here if you once need to service the watch? Exactly, exactly the same principle. So of course we need to, to remove the, the glass, but uh, as soon as we fix it again, um, we will keep exactly the same sound like before. And you told me first, Johan, that you are doing, uh, you're taping or you're registering the sound? Yeah, exactly. For your archives? Yeah, exactly. We, we are uh, registering every, uh, every sound of every watches before they are going out uh, to, the, to the final customer. So in case uh, a watch comes back and something happened, you can... We can find it back, the, the sound, in order to keep exactly the same sound like exactly. before. And the, and, the sign, and the sound is also verified by some musicians. Exactly. That's the, also, also interesting, probably short. The Capuçon brothers, um, who are a French violinists. And um, we work with them, so we, we let them hear the, um, the, the sound in order to, to keep their um, advice, in order to, to have the, the most beautiful sound and most pure sound Possible. Uh, because, you know, they have uh, the perfect ear, yeah. so uh, they can say, yes, this is the, the finest sound uh, we find, and uh, it's a very good partnership with the Frère Capuçon.
let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Take the highlight. <laughs> or the most uh, impressive watch um, out of this trilogy. Every uh, watch um, in a full sapphire case is simply uh, incredible. Yeah, you know, it's very, very tough to, to make and to uh, produce the, this kind of, uh, of case. So just to compare with uh, a steel case, it's six hours to produce from the beginning to the, to the final piece. It's only six hours to produce a steel case. And here, only for the case, it's 190 hours. And in this 190, you have to count 80 hours to polish the case. 80 hours? 80 hours, yes. For polishing the case. Because when you are machining, it, it comes out matte, and then you have to completely polish. And you know, it's very strong and very hard to, to, um, to keep the right shapes. So it's a real piece of art. You can also see that the crown and the pusher yeah. are in sapphire. Sapphire, both. Exactly. And once again, the point I cannot scratch, <laughs> please. <laughs> if you are now saying, hey, scratch, it's not, it's not. Incredible. So this watch is limited to five pieces. Okay. So a very limited edition. It yep. is basically the same movement, but without uh, the tourbillon exactly. mechanism. So, so we, we kept the same movement like the other food strikes with 60 hours power reserve. And we do have, as you just saw it first, the power reserve indications here for, there is a gong on the dial it indicates the power reserve for the chiming mechanism and you do have the power reserve also for the watch. It's manual wound. You see there is no rotor or no winding rotor here. So you have to wind it. You have the hammers and here, hour hammer, minute hammer, and you will see as you just saw before, but much more. It's like cinema. This is really, I always, uh, when I have such a watch in my hand, it's, it's really the, it's, it's, huge or incredible cinema on the wrist. Look at this, you really are diving, deep diving into the movement. And you, the more you go yourself into technology and watchmaking and maybe you learn, you know, you read, you will discover all these things you, you read, you heard about of a chiming mechanism. It's really cinema. And thanks to the sapphire dial also, you can admire all the details. There is a dial, yes, but it is sapphire, so we will not, you will not see it, but there is a dial, of course. And uh, here we have the indexes for 12, etc. So there is a dial, but it is sapphire crystal. Regarding the size of the watch, um, we still have the 42.5 millimeters. And now about the thickness. We kept the same thickness like the, the previous uh, editions, which is 11.55 millimeters. And our di distance, lux to lux, is a little different uh, like the tourbillon, is uh, 50.23. One end to the other end. Let me also show you the strap. There is a folding clasp coming with it. And I'm opening it up here. We have a butterfly folding clasp here. White gold. Yep. And close here. And to make the adjustments, you use a pin buckle. You slide in, you define the size you want. You slide in, you define your size, and then you just use it as a folding clasp. Maybe when the watch was chiming, you saw here this part of the watch that's called the regulator. And Johan, what is it uh, for? What is that part of the mechanism that rotates quite uh, quickly, quickly when you? Yeah. What is it doing? 
So uh, this regulator is uh, regulating the, the chiming. So it means if we don't have this regulator, um, all the hammers will uh, strike very quickly. And that's why this regulator is um, yes, regulating the, 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 speed? Striking, the speed of the striking mechanism. And of course, uh, the watchmakers can adapt it and can set it uh, very uh, precisely uh, how, to, to how, how do they want to hear the, the striking mechanism. Yeah. And also, uh, what is uh, very specific on our full strike is that regulator is very, uh, very silent. Yeah, we will. So you won't hear it. Some, some of the chiming, uh, chiming mechanisms, you will hear the regulator. It's kind of a zzzz. Yes, zzz. kind of be, yeah. yeah, but you don't hear anything. Here. We have, I checked it. It's, it's completely silent. And also fascinating, I uh, was resetting the watch for that scene, and I was uh, uh, asking you, and can, uh, can uh, I go only in, in, in clockwise, sa uh, clockwise uh, to adjust it? And they said, no, no, you can go counterclockwise. And I said, wow, that's fascinating. Yes. It's, it's not evident that you can use a minute repeater and normally go clock. You can go in both senses. Nothing will happen. The mechanism is completely protected. Exactly. And this is quite fascinating. You go back. You can also... Um press again on the pusher when the, the striking mechanism is working. We have also the security, so it means if you push twice, you, you cannot break the, the mechanism, the striking mechanism. Very nice. A question that always comes, how fragile is such a case? You know, it's unscratchable, of course. Any case of a drop? Of, of course, if, if the case drop, I cannot promise you uh, that uh, the watch will uh, support. Of course, we are doing some tests, but uh, you know it depends uh, how it drops and also the type of uh, ground. Um, so, of course, it remains a, a delicate watch. You better watch out what you're doing with it, but it's it's not said. It it uh, yeah depends on which angle it will fall. But of course, it's delicate. But you can't scratch it. That's it's unscratchable. Yeah, it's yeah exactly. Surface is very hard. Almost impossible. Only with diamonds. Yeah. But uh, for the rest, it's an unscratchable watch. So on your screen, again, the free watches as we showed them you in the beginning of the video. And yeah, look close because these watches are, you will probably never see again. And it, you will never encounter them anywhere in a boutique because I expect them to yeah, find yeah. the collectors very quickly. Of course, of course, sure. It's uh, always very demanded because, you know, as it is very, very limited for, for the world, um, of course, we, we will uh, find some... Uh, I expect, a lot of, of connoisseur and... Uh, yeah, I expect... The, uh, this was a limitation of... 25. 25. 20 for the uh, full strike tourbillon. And only five. Five, exactly. five for, imagine five uh, um, full um, sapphire crystal um, watches. Yeah, that's easy to find a buyer. Price-wise, uh, we have to sure. <laughs> talk sure. about the prices. We have to, yeah. <laughs> uh, 63,000 Swiss francs. 63, including tax. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then for the full strike tourbillon is uh, 380,000. And, and finally, 450,000. Swiss francs, yeah. It's a lot of money, of course, but it's a very exclusive watch, I have to say. All the watches are exclusive. The limitations are really fair. So if you're collecting um, and you are putting such a watch in your collection, you can really be sure it's kind of unique watch you get. Of course, yeah. It's a very fair um, 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 limitation, yeah. And for yeah, 25 years, LUC, the um, the brand that um, is part of Chopin, where in uh, Fleurier, where the, all the watches, the haute horlogerie watches are made. Made exactly. It's an own atelier. It's not in Geneva. We are filming today in Geneva, but um, in it's. The, the watches are cased, so uh, assembled and cased in Geneva, 
in order to get the Gini Vassil. The Gini Vassil, yeah, it's good but, that you say it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Someone would have said, ah, they are done in Fleury, they can't <laughs> get the Gini Vassil. Of course they are done here, yes. Yeah, exactly, but the components, you're absolutely definitely right. Uh, yeah, yeah. All the components are made uh, yeah. in Fleury. Yeah, so all the watches carry the Poisson de Genève, the Gini Vassil, Geneva Hallmark, and yeah, it's a quality Hallmark, as you all know. <sighs> Johan, thank you very much. I'm My excited. I, I really, you know, it, it, it's one of a kind moment if you are able as, yeah, um, yeah if you can get hands on such watches, uh, look close once again. You will never probably see them again, especially the five pieces here. It's, yeah. Enjoy the last seconds. Johan, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Um, your comments are welcome. Um, how do you think about such uh, exceptional watches? This is really a demonstration of uh, the savoir-faire of what people can do, watchmaking is able to do. Um, 190 oh, hours. hours. 190 hours only the, the, the manufacturing of the sapphire crystal and 60 hours of quality. 80. 80 hours. Yes, of, 80 that's, hours. It's, uh, that's, wow, incredible. <laughs> okay, your comments are welcome. Please um, uh, share them with me. Ask me questions. If I can't answer, I will pass them on to you. On. And yeah, thanks for watching that video. Uh, stay tuned on Watch Advice on YouTube. Lots of uh, novelties uh, these days. And yeah, I'm happy to have you. Bye-bye, guys.